what's up you guys, my name is Mason Healy and thank you so much for coming back to my channel for another video. If you guys are new here, do me a quick favor and hit the subscribe button right now because I don't want you to miss out on future videos like this one. So hit the subscribe button. Also, while you're down there, if you could give this video a big thumbs up, that would be super, super dope. But this week, you guys, I have a video that I'm actually excited to film. I've seen this trend going around online of people exposing mean YouTubers and I'm like, hmm, that's kind of like feisty of them. And then Sam Potteroff, he filmed a video called Exposing the Nicest YouTubers, and I freaking love that idea. You should go check out his video, but I'm basically gonna expose the nicest YouTubers I've ever met and talk about why they're nice and what they did to be nice, because God knows that I have like a good handful of YouTubers who have been like not the nicest, but we're not gonna be like negative. We're gonna be positive and talk about the nice ones instead. So that's what we're doing this week. Let's jump right in. All right, you guys, number one on the list is Jenna Marbles. So there's actually a couple of different events for YouTubers to go to. There's like VidCon, Playlist Live Orlando. There's like a bunch of different events that YouTubers go to to like meet people and like learn more about their YouTube channels and just a bunch of stuff. But at these events, they have like these after parties where all of like the YouTubers go and like hang out together. There's like dancing and food and drinks and all sorts of stuff. It's super fun and super cool and you like run into people like it's no big deal. So for example, Jenna Marbles is like a really big YouTuber, right? You think like, how do you just like bump into Jenna Marbles? Well, I've been watching her content for the longest time. Now I was watching it before I even made YouTube videos. Like I'm obsessed with her. I think she's super funny. And I was at Playlist Live Orlando last year and I saw her and I was like, oh my God, I have to meet Jenna Marbles because that's like iconic. She's like, the queen of YouTube, I was like, I have to go and meet her. So I see her and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So I go up to her and I was like expecting her to be like, yeah, whatever, like super like quick and like not really interested just because I kind of like came across as a fangirl, I feel like, which I am a fangirl, but I didn't even care. I wanted a picture. So I went up, I asked her for a picture. I was like, it's so nice to meet you. I love your videos. You're so funny. And she was so freaking sweet. She was like, oh, you're so cute. And she took a picture with me and she's like, it's so nice to meet you. And like, it didn't feel like she was in a rush at all. She like genuinely seemed interested to talk to me, which is super cool and super nice because she has every right to have like a big ego. She's like really big on YouTube and she's actually really freaking nice and really sweet. So I got a picture with her. I'm so happy I met Jenna Marbles. Yes. There's a couple more YouTubers that I met at like events. So my first VidCon, I don't even remember what year it was, um, there was an after party and Connor Franta and Troy Savon were in the same group. And I really like both of them. I love their content. I just like who they are as people. They seem really chill. And they're in the same group. So I'm like, dope, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone, right? So I go up to their group and honestly like this, it was like at, like at a bar at like House of Blues or something. And it was so packed, but I was like, I saw them across the room, I'm like, I'm going to meet them. I like made my intention for the night, so I pushed through all the crowds of like drunk, gross, like, YouTubers. <laughs> Just kidding, they're not gross. But like, and they're not drunk. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, I was pushing through this crowd of people, and I go up to them, and it was so awkward. Like, I felt so awkward for myself, but I really wanted to meet them, so I'm like, whatever, I don't even care. And I, <laughs> I like put my hand out, and I'm like, hi. I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Mason. I'm like, I love your guys' content. I kind of say the same thing to everyone that I meet, but I don't even care. And they were so nice. Like, Troy, like, grabbed my hand. He shook it. He's like, hi, yeah, it's so nice. I don't know how to do his accent, but he's like, it's so nice to meet you. And they said, thank you. And Connor was there, and he shook my hand, and I was like... I love them. It was the cutest thing and I'm so glad I got to meet them because they are like really like inspirational and cool. So especially from like a YouTuber perspective, like to see the like potential and growth that you can reach as a YouTuber is so cool and I think they like really like gone to the top of their game which is super cool. All right guys, so up next on the list is Will Darbyshire and Arden Rose. They are the freaking nicest people ever. I would like easily say that they're like some of the nicest YouTubers I've ever met. So you guys know Bradley. Bradley's friends with Will, but basically we went to hang out with Will and then Arden met up with us, but we went to like Venice Beach and we just kind of hung out. We got lunch and they were super nice and just like the sweetest people, we had like cool conversations about like life and stuff and just like everything they do is so vibey. Like everything about them is so like freaking like intriguing almost. And they just seem like very um, interesting people and I would love to like get to know them better. But just spending that day with them was so fun and they're so nice and so sweet. And they were like really genuine people, which is so refreshing in Los Angeles. Like you never find that. So those two are super nice as well. All right, so up next on the list is Jack Galinsky. And <laughs> he 
he like started out on Vine. I think they make YouTube videos sometimes, but they mainly do music, but he's kind of like a YouTuber. I was actually working on a TV show um, on Hollywood Boulevard, like working background, just like, I forgot what TV show it was. It was some like CW show or something. And I was working background and they had like all the cameras set up and everything. And while I was like working background, I see him out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, holy shit, that's Jack Linsky. Like, what is he doing here? He was just like chilling on Hollywood Boulevard, no big deal. And so I stopped working like mid like filming. I stopped working. I'm like, I'm gonna go introduce myself. So I walked over to him. And again, I probably seemed so awkward, but I like get nervous to like meet people like that. But I went up to him, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm like, I love your vines, I love your music, you're like killing it, good job. He was super chill, we took a picture, and I probably looked like a creep, but he was actually really, really nice. He like seemed easygoing, and yeah, he was cool to meet. Next up, I'm sure you guys know Tyler Oakley and Joe Sugg. I was actually at Universal Studios uh, when I first moved out here, like, they were probably like, some of the only YouTubers I really knew about. Like, I knew about all, like, the really big ones. And so when I saw them, I was like, oh, damn. I was like, they're at Universal Studios. So I go up to them, I'm like, hey, guys. I was like, I watch your videos. I love your stuff. Can we get a picture? Tyler Oakley was super cool. He's, like, really short in person, which is so interesting. I was, like, looking down. So is Joe Sugg. They're, like, little people. But they were so nice, and they were just, like, walking casually at Universal Studios. And I asked them for a picture, and they seemed like it was no big deal. And Tyler Oakley is just, like has like a really like laid back personality. That's one thing like I've noticed about all these YouTubers is they're just so like laid back and so chill. Like they don't seem stressed at all. They just seem like they're having fun and they're like excited to meet people, which is super nice because I feel like there's a lot of YouTubers who have like way less subscribers or way less whatever. And those are the ones that are typically like mean. So for me, I personally believe that they're just like trying to make up for their low amount of subscribers maybe. I don't know, it could be an ego thing. But all like the really big YouTubers have been the nicest ones that I've met. Okay, next up on the list is Brittany Louise Taylor. She is super sweet, super adorable. I had met her at like VidCon, I believe, my first VidCon. And then when I was working at a juice store, I was working at Press Juicery, she came in there all the time and like got juice and like the, like the ice cream stuff or whatever. And she was so sweet. Every single interaction I've ever had with her, she's been like the nothing but nice. She like remembered me and she was super sweet and she just has such like a warm personality and she like, lights up a room like her smile is so like shing! like she like you can like sense her vibe from like a mile away but it's such a good thing like she's super sweet she's been nothing but nice every time i've met her so Brittany louise taylor super cool other than that you guys i've met like a ton of youtubers some honorable mentions for the video would be like a dubs she was super cool evelina is super nice and lay who else have i met there's been like a ton so there's like a lot of really cool youtubers you guys, if you ever see them in public, you should go up to them, all these people that I mentioned anyways, and just like say what's up because they're super nice. Hopefully, if you ever meet me, I'm nice to you. You guys think I'm nice. If I've met you, I hope you think I'm nice. Um, because I think what happens is like you look up to people or you like watch someone on a TV show or listen to their music and you finally get to meet them in person. So you have like such high expectations of like what it's going to be to meet them. And I think that person has to go like above and beyond to be super nice. And I get like everyone has their hard days, but for me, I would like expect someone to be really nice because if you're meeting someone someone who's like supporting you and really is like interested in like what you're producing then you would want to like be thankful to them and be really nice so hopefully every youtuber you meet is super nice i highly recommend you guys go to those events they're super fun but yeah i don't know that's the end of the video so if you guys enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up comment your favorite youtuber below i want to see who you guys like comment their name below so i know you made it to this point in the video and if you haven't done so yet be sure to hit subscribe right now because i make new videos every single week so i'll see you next thursday all right goodbye